Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. We are Matt and Jennifer Moses. We are a husband and wife furniture flipping team who take furniture like this and we turn it into furniture like this. And today we are going to show you how. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be sanding the tops of all of this furniture. It's not normally necessary to sand the top of the furniture if you're going to be painting it, but it had so many scratch and dings in it. So we were going to sand all of those dings out so that you didn't see it when we painted especially this nightstand right here. It had been very well loved and had a lot of scratches and dings in it, and so sanding it smooth was very gratifying. And fast forward a little bit, and here's what it looked like when we were just about done and we had a nice smooth surface for our paint. Now, while we did get all the scratches and dings out, since we sanded it smooth, it was going to have a different appearance than the rest of the pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in those marks with this product called Aqua Coat. This kind of just levels everything out so that you will not see any sort of grain when we paint. You just apply a thin coat and then you wipe it in. And now we're gonna work on the rest of the piece. We're going to be removing all of the hardware and we're going to be doing our repairs with our handy dandy product called Bondo. We did a whole video on this that we will link in the description below, but we are going to use this to not only do repairs, but to also fill these holes because we are going to be drilling new hardware holes. Now onto the prepping process. We like to prep using a mixture of 50-50 mix of water and denatured alcohol. This really helps to break up the old finish and give a nice smooth surface for your paint to adhere to. We use our Surf Prep 3x4 Electric Ray and if you will notice I did detach the hose so that no water would get into the system. But we use our maroon cleaning pads. It's a maroon woven pad and it really helps to get in there but it's not necessary. You can use a green scotch Bright pad but since we do this full time and we have a lot of pieces that we're working on, this really helps make our prepping process very easy and very quick. After we spray the denatured alcohol mix and sand it, we will go back with a damp rag and wipe it clean. And now that the aqua coat has dried, we are going to go in and just kind of buff sand this out. And we're also going to sand smooth the areas that we did the Bondo repairs on. Now we are going on to drilling new holes for new hardware. And this is a very handy tool called the Torres Cabinet Hardware Jig. It creates a template for you to get the exact same hole spacing every single time. So when you're drilling multiple holes, like for cabinet doors or like these drawers, for instance, it makes it such a breeze. And now we're going to be spraying shellac so that we don't have any bleed through in any areas. And we're going to be going in with our tinted primer. This is actually very close to the color that we're going to be painting this in. We've tried a lot of products from a lot of different companies and we have settled on the product called Malaysi. It's an Italian paint company, but it is local here in Birmingham. And there is a paint supplier that can tint our paint colors to pretty much any big box store color that we choose. So we're able to really expand to our clients the colors that they can pick from. And it also has like a built-in hardening agent that makes the product super, super durable. Um, it's not in this product that is the primer right here, but they can also tint the Malaysi primer to be very dark so that we don't have to use as much product when we paint. And now we are going to sand between coats. This is just a light sanding. Um, but it really creates that buttery soft smooth finish by getting all those air bubbles and dust particles that settled in the paint out. And now here is when we are going in with the color Iron Ore by Sharon Williams. And you can tell that it's going on, but it's very, very close to the color of our primer. But it's such a pretty moody, like soft black gray. And now we're putting in this gold hardware just to really complement the look. And we will link this in the comments below. Now we're going to be moving on to one of my favorite parts, which is the staging and photoing and editing process. 
I always like to change out the decor according to the seasons. So right now I'm loving these winter prints that I got from Etsy. I like to incorporate different levels of books and candles and some sort of plant. And now you can see a behind the scenes of how I'm finishing out a reel. But in doing this, I realized that in the beginning of my reel, I had this all flipped around. So here I am moving furniture in our garage, getting ready to finish a reel. And now here I am realizing I still cannot see all the pieces in the frame. So I'm going to have to move it all over and put it all together in another way so that I can fit all the pieces together in the reel. Lots of moving furniture and a lot that goes into finishing off the perfect reel. Three, two, one, bang. Hope you enjoyed seeing that behind the scenes of how those reels are created this is the finished product we're matt and jennifer moses like and follow for more